our latest creation, the seven metre Santa Console. We've built this boat around very specific targets. First of all, you probably see it's got a brand new style of hard top. We uh, put a lot of effort into this. Uh, it's made out of uh, two mil aluminium, so it's very, very light, but at the same time, it's very, very strong. A couple of big guys can literally hang off the back of it. So there's no or minimal amount of supports, so it maximises your fishing ability throughout the boat as well. The other part of the console is down in underneath. It's got uh, full head height, so you, you know somebody can stand up down in underneath with a massive amount of storage. And we've also put a, uh, a toilet down in there as well. Um, the 350 Suzuki we're running, which is a brand new model for Suzuki. It's got the counter rotating props. Uh, so one prop spins one way, one prop spins the other. And that takes a lot of list out of the boat that we find with what we call prop torque. So that's been totally eliminated. The amount of thrust that that motor has got as well in reverse is just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we're using the, um, the engine at the moment, we're only running it in, but at the same time it's, we've achieved about 46 knots out of it. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's going very well. The Furuno uh, TZ2 15 inch screen is the screen that we're running with a one kilowatt transducer. It's uh, very easy to use and does a great job as well. Another feature we've created in the console is we've moved the, for the first time, we've actually moved the steering wheel over to the port side, which allows the throttle to be in the middle of the whole console. And that way we can actually get the driver's seat or the helmsman's seat directly behind the steering wheel and allow a full size passenger seat to go into the other side and you're not sitting offset. That also allows nice and easy access up either side of the console without hitting throttles and steering wheels and all the other bits and pieces. We've got a new seat box design with two seats that have got the uh, folding up bolsters. That allows you to stand in behind that wheel and or fold it down and you've got a seat slide there as well so you can pull your, your backside right up against the steering wheel and you've got no, nice uh, driving position. Also underneath the seat box, we've got a uh, 60 litre uh, Elements ARB fridge freezer. So that pulls out on a draw slide. It's uh, nice and easy to access. With the new fridge from ARB, the uh, lid comes up and it's all on a gas strut so you can use two hands, nice and easy to access all food and drinks to get in there. You're not trying to hold it up, uh, the lid up with your elbow. Above that slightly, we've also got a massive drawer in there which we've set up specifically for your tackle trays so that you can nice and easily access all your tackle trays. And then just above that, we've got a few rod holders that have been strategically placed there so that no, none of the rods hit the actual, uh, none of the rod tips, I should say, hit the actual rods up on the hard top. So that's all part of this new seat box design that we've come up with. We've got a massive 600 litres of fuel on board. It's in two separate tanks, under floor, and it's also put in a fuel cell. We've also put 100 litres of fresh water on board. That goes through a sink and also a freshwater deck wash. The other thing we've put on board on this particular boat is twin kill tanks. So one kill tank runs down either side with a full pump out facility. In the middle of the back of the boat is a underfloor built in ice box, roughly 300 litres in capacity, also with the pump out facility. This is allowing you now to be able to put your fish down in under the floor and not take up valuable deck space with eskies. So as usual, we can fully customise the boat for you. Some of the options that you can choose, obviously, suspension seats, free fall anchors, off-road trailers. We'd love to see you down at the factory. Give us a call, come down and we'll show you through this seven metre boat. Thanks for watching.